And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Lulu Fiora. Played this just a few days ago and it felt really good. Um, and so it's back here for Rank Up Sunday. We have these two champions, Lulu and Fiora, which are both still really good. And we saw how good last time Fiora looked great against Aurelia Azir. We played against um, all either Azir or Draven decks, I think. And so we did really well in those matchups. Um, recently, we've been playing against a ton of dragons. It seems like dragons everywhere. Um, our last three games were all dragons. I'm hoping that's it for the dragons because, um, you know, you're screeching dragons and shivanas and fight spells and, and uh, sharp sights and stuff. Those things are just larger than our units. And so I hope we have uh, finished facing those ones. But um, yeah, our deck's built around the three drops. I guess, the, okay, if you didn't watch the video three days ago with this, one, I recommend going and checking that out also if you want to see some more games of this deck because we had some really good games. But how, like... How these two work well together is that Lulu gets to heal Fiora. And so, like, Fiora is a 3 2, and we saw, like, Sand Soldiers attacking in. Fiora blocks a Sand Soldier. Now, Fiora is a 3 1. And so, with only one health, you got to buff that health up. We, you all know about Fiora and Shen together, where Shen gives Fiora a barrier. But still, even if Shen gives Fiora a barrier, Fiora kills something with a barrier, it still has like the really low health afterwards. It doesn't heal it. Where Lulu making it make turning Fiora into a 4-4, now you get to challenge a 2-2, and now your Fiora basically gets healed back to being a 3-2 again. Which is uh pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, but then yeah, we got uh, some different stuff. We got like a, a spicy rush in here, which is awesome with the Fiora. I remember that one did some good work with us. Only two single combats, because our units aren't always the largest for that card. We got Syncopation to help save Fiora or Lulu. Um, obviously, the Sharp Sights, one Ranger's Resolve. You know, just kind of normal aggro, challenger stuff besides that. So let's get the support deck going. We're, we are a support deck because of Lulu. So we got uh, Young Witch, War Chefs. We got good one drops to support. Um, and there we go. That's our deck. All right, let's go ahead and go play our five games in Ranked. Okay. Azir Darius. Their deck could have a lot of small units, which is what we want to see. We want to hopefully find our champions. Also, really use Fiora and Lulu. Champion. Take it. Desert by my side. Sand and blood. Mm. Blocking keeps my life total high. It does mean that I don't have a great support thing anymore. I'm just going to take it. Young Witch. Young Witch would have been much better to have right here. <laughs> you know, Young Witch would have gave the Fleet Feather Tracker quick attack. Love it when they run. That would have worked out much better. Here I go. Wherever here is. Aziz, command. Who's gonna get in my way? All right, down to nine is not good. Oh, Fiora. So my plan was to play Repost this round and save the Lulu. Like that was my plan, but now drawing the Fiora, I'm gonna save the Repost for the Fiora. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. If they don't break, we'll burn. 
Um, yeah, I guess we'll do the prediction again next game. I guess we just didn't get one for this game. Alright, so you cost four mana, so I do have two mana left. Uh, maybe, I guess I could just go Screeching Dragon. This keeps me at the highest life total possible. Only take one damage. It's gonna be it's gonna be close. Do they have the direct damage to kill me or not? It's gonna be close. It is time. Tell the people what you have seen. You know, obviously a fervor kills me. Just got got a little too far behind. I got I got a little greedy with my, my ones and twos, I guess. I, I needed to do a little bit more blocking than what I did. Such unrefined style. So if they just have units, we, we win. If they have any spell that, you know, anything that does direct damage, they win. If they don't, we win. It's that kind of thing. Well, we probably win. I guess not guaranteed. Close game, close game. Our Fiora is at three. Real close game. I could have protected my life total a little better earlier, and I guess I, I needed to do that. Very close. Okay, I'll get the prediction started for the next round. Man, we are just playing against this deck so much. It's like this is the only deck. Not what I want to see, of course, as we discussed before. I feel like the syncopation could be key. Never again will we 
So that's what I was thinking. Like, if I play Fiora, they play Dragon Guard Lieutenant. That was the card I was expecting. I am always here when you need me. Ready weapons. They are nothing. Siobhan is quite big. There's nothing a good jiggle can't fix. Siobhan is quite big. That extra plus one plus one with that fury. Making that thing a 4-5. No, Whimsy only hits followers, so it doesn't hit Shivana. Like That's why like this is, this is really unfortunate that it's just Shivana, because I can't Whimsy it. Yeah, GG's, man. That was the problem with playing the Screeching Dragons that I didn't keep an eye up. Why not swap Lulu? Just because I have two other Lulus in hand, and it doesn't really, yeah. Because I, I just have the two other Lulus in hand. this thing die? Which is like... I don't know. I don't know how this thing dies. Ha! 
So I'm kind of thinking like like maybe they they sharp sight theirs. And so then I syncopate and whimsy. Just gonna sink a pay. Best case scenario is like single combat, like their screeching dragon on my screeching dragon. And dragons plus one plus one. Yeah, this is a rough matchup. Yes, this is our, this is the worst matchup. This I talked about this at the the very beginning of the video that their dragons are just bigger than ours stuff, and this is just, this is exactly what you don't want to face with Lulu and Fiora, like especially Shivana. How I you know I can't even whimsy that thing, but yeah, this is this is quite bad. Their stuff's too big, and this Fury keyword is too good. Shining gifts from the sky. Not a terrible draw. Sorry, Dragonian. How do I win this one? I don't. I don't think there is any way. Like, I honestly don't think there's any possible way. Just go to the next game. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Last game. I needed to win that last game. Alright, we'll just go to the next game. Instead of sitting around waiting more. Yeah, even if we have perfect draws and the opponent has nothing. Even then, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if we beat... I don't know. Okay. So, back... Alright, so now we have an all-in Fiora list. Um. You definitely want a lot of spells for this kind of matchup. Why I'm only in the units. But I guess we get more units. I want nothing but spells. Spell. I just can't find a spell, I guess. No spells. Can't bite on an empty stomach. Um, yeah, I can I can build Bone Skewer Elnux. I can do that. Hmm. 
They have not found Fiora. That's the thing about the all-in Fiora deck, is you have a fail rate that if you just do not find Fiora, you just have a fail rate. So, GG's. No champions now. So Demacia and Shadow Isles probably means an Undying deck. That would be my best guess. I'll keep the Flower Child. Cool. Find some support. Yeah, they, they play six Fioras. They don't really have other card draw, but there are six Fioras in the deck with the three Entreat and the three Fiora. And so if you don't have any of those six, something like that can happen. Yeah, it could definitely be um, Spectral Matron, Cythria, kind of combo deck with maybe like Oblivious Islanders to make it cost less. Yep. So that's what we got going on here. Yeah, I don't... Uh, how do you get this card back? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't... No, it's not for just employees of Riot. But. Okay. Alright, we'll do that. So we'll build an Elnuk Bone Skewer deck. Cool, cool. Protégé's a great card. So Twitch chat saying that maybe maybe that if you play against a riot employee and you beat them, then that's how you get the the sleeves for defeating a riot employee. Why are they just playing this ephemeral one right now? Okay, so they could play that thing. They got the ephemeral one of. Of course, from the Stalking Shadows, the Protégé was what they hit off Stalking Shadows. Alright, so this would put them to 10. Hoping this works. I just want to get rid of that thing. 
Oh, I, I did this the wrong way. So I'm not even growing the fury on the Screeching Dragon. I did that the wrong way. Okay, cool. That will do. Two and two. GG's. Okay, so two and two. We can finish this out with a good three two on rank up day. Twisted Zillion. All right, this will be interested to try out. They got a lot of combat tricks now. They got the bone skewers. Got to watch out for. Um, I kind of want to just keep Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight's just a great card. But okay, good. Protege is good. We gotta get our three mana cards. We got Protégé, now champions would help too. Perfect. And round two, I just saved my spell mana. Perfect. Yeah, this Twisted Fate Zillion deck's really fun. We played it yesterday, but we played like a, um, Kind of a meme, meme version with extra treasures, but I was really impressed with just Zillion and Twisted Fate together. It looked really good. I could see a you know more tuned version doing even better. We got backup Lulu. I'll just let the one the Lulu that has vulnerable die. That's rough. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Time bombs are good. Not much to do about the old time bomb. They never expect. We love it when they run. All right, so now I, I've uh, kind of gotten rid of two Lulus. I'll probably have to protect this Lulu. We'll get our licks in. Probably want to protect this one. No, another one of those. All right, they got me. Like some of those cards are, you know, like those are some really good quality cards. Obviously, the time bomb, but the plus three, you know, one mana plus three plus one.
And like Preservarium, like draw two for two mana. Some great cards. Kind of planning on like Fiora Golden Ages, but I go, I go. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Dang. Merciless Hunter is awesome. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Gonna catch the sky. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Something for all of you. Is smiling. I go, I go. Wrap him up tight. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Um, so I don't really need to use syncopation. I just do this and then challenge the twisted faint. No, let's let's use it. Yeah, it's that's the main question. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get more use out of it. Attack for the win. Boom. Got him. Repost coming through. GG's. Took down that triple merciless hunter. Okay, so there we go. There was Lulu Fiora. Ended up going three and two even after that rough start. And that first game, super, super close. Um, but didn't quite get through and you know, maybe I could have made some better decisions there But uh, kind of and then we had the, our worst matchup right the second game. So it was looking bad at 0 and 2 but then we kind of Had some kind of we kind of coasted <laughs> there those last three uh, Especially game four game five, you know game four my opponent just bricked looking for Fioras um, Or sorry game three game four game three my opponent bricked looking for the Fioras um I could see playing another spell. Man, we did have two con two repost in here. Repost did look great. Um, but yeah, you know, like this is going to be a, a little bit smaller deck. Uh, you know, a little bit lower to the ground, trying to again fight different aggro decks. It's going to be pretty poor against dragons. But we didn't really get to show off like Fiora too too much in these games. Um, the other games though that we play, like I said, if you don't, like watch some more of this deck. Um, you know, these are this is a quick deck to play. Like this was just a, a quick video here. Last time we played, it was also a quick video. Um, so check out that one from three days ago. Also Lulu Fiora. That one we really showed off Fiora a lot more, and we played against a, a few different Aurelia Azir decks. Um, so you know, if you want to see that kind of gameplay, um, definitely recommend checking out that video. All right, but that's going to be it here for Lulu Fiora. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know if you've been enjoying this deck, if you've been trying it out yourself. Um, let me know how it's been going for you. 
and uh, I'd like to hear that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.